Hello, it's um, it's actually the afternoon now. Um, I am having a bit of a clear out day today. I thought I would share it with you. I'm going to wash my makeup brushes. I'm going to clear out some of my drawers. I've got loads of clothes that I need to clear out, but that might have to wait for another day. But I thought that's what we're doing today. So I thought I'd vlog. I'm really enjoying uploading vlogs at the moment. You guys liked my last vlog. So that is that. I've got, I'm using this new lip balm today by Revolution. I really love lip balm. Like if I had to choose one beauty product that I could not live without, it is 100% lip balm. Um, I get through so many lip balms. This is actually my favorite lip balm in the world. <laughs> this is the Boots Lip Solve. Um, I have so many of these. I can't get hold of these at the moment. They do like different scents, but I like the strawberry one. I need to get some more of those. I'm going into town on Thursday, so I'm hoping I can pick some up because um, my lips need it. But yeah, these are really nice. These are by Revolution. They're kind of like um, coloured as well. So they've got different colours. So this one is a pinky one. This is Affinity Pink, which is like a corally pink. And then we have Allure Deep Pink, which is more of a deeper shade, which I really like because I would probably wear these over lipsticks. And then we have the one that I've just applied, which is fire orange they're not like super super pigmented but they're just enough if you just want a bit of color but mostly balm and they do definitely feel like lip balm um so yeah i just thought i'd share that while you're here and that's that really so i am gonna have a bit of a sort out my drawers are such a mess and i just need to like sort my life out i feel like you know when you have so much stuff and clutter everywhere you just need to like fix it that's how i'm feeling at the moment i want a nice spring clean i feel like a spring clean would be good obviously with everything that's going on in ukraine at the moment it's just absolutely awful um so i hope this video can kind of be a bit of an escape for you but obviously i don't want you to think that by uploading this video i'm not thinking about what's going on in the world because i am um we watched the news this morning and it's just absolutely terrible and um, so i'm hoping that i can take some of those warmer clothes to maybe somewhere and donate them um but of course, if you wanted to donate and you're unsure what to do, the Red Cross, I think, are doing donations. So I will leave that linked down below. And we've donated this morning. So yeah, every little helps, even if you don't have a lot, even if you just have a fiver, um, every little helps. So yeah, so anyway, anyway, I'm gonna get on with my tidying. So I'm talking about sorting out, but this is actually the state of my office at the moment. We have the contents of the airing cupboard here. <laughs> and um, yeah, my wall has been unfortunately damaged because we're having the ensuite done. And the ensuite is next to this, like behind this wall. Um, and when they took the tiles off the builders, um, unfortunately we had some damage to this wall, which is annoying because this was completely replastered. Um, so that needs some fixing. So for the meantime, I can't really film in this area because obviously they just kind of stay out like a sore thumb um i've moved my rail here and kept that so it kind of looks quite nice but yeah the airing cupboard is empty at the moment so this is all here we've had a few delays with the ensuite i'll show you the current state of the ensuite at the moment um so we had some delays with um some plastering that needed to be do done and then redone and um, so hopefully it'll be tiled this week it'll be really nice we're going for quite neutral vibes in there um but i might have to update you in another vlog because i don't think it's going to be done in this vlog even though it's meant to be um but i'll pop some little before um photos on the screen and then i'll show you what it looks like at the end but yeah it might be in another vlog but this is currently what it looks like at the moment so it's literally just an empty room it's all been plastered and um, we've got the shower in the same place we've got like a nice wooden cabinet a new toilet going in and it's just gonna be really clean and lovely and warm and just like very neutral natural vibe so that's what we're going for in there i'm just really excited because we actually haven't been able to use that shower for four years i think it might even be five years almost um because it has been broken so yeah it's gonna be really lovely to have an ensuite again So I had a sort out of my beauty drawers. Now every time I put these on YouTube I get trolled. <laughs> so hopefully the trolls are away today. But I sorted out my lipsticks. Now yes this is a lot of lipsticks but I'm a content creator. I need a lot of lipsticks and some of these I've had 
for like years but I just can't part with any of my MAC lipsticks because they just mean so much to me like I would spend my wages on MAC lipsticks and it would take me a long time to decide on a colour so of course I've just kept them all I don't wear them all but I'm not throwing them away <laughs> I have whittled this down I had so many Smashbox lipsticks my favourite nude sticks so I've got all of these kind of organised and then in here this is kind of like my travel box so like Invisalign case um, leftover foundation and like little samples of shampoos and stuff like that we've got eye palettes eyeshadow palettes more eyeshadow palettes eyelashes and little bits and bobs and then some things that I'm using at the moment like fixing spray that won't fit into my makeup collection this little bunny that my granddad got me that just sits in the front there some leftover perfume is my L'Occitane perfume that I'm loving some mascaras and then in here we have my nail boxing I'm a nail biter so I really want to get back into painting my nails but yeah it's not going so well at the moment um, more nail varnish some bits and bobs for like bath time and plasters and stuff extra perfumes these are those ones from Aldi or Lidl I can't remember Aldi or Lidl that my mum gets me that smells like Chloe she's got me three more and I've just opened one so I've got four on the go and then finally in here is just my hair um hair styling drawer brushes are now in a box because that was really messy I've got all my products laid out and then the bottom is the same it's just tongs so that feels a lot more organized which is good I also washed all of my makeup brushes, which is such a chore, but it feels so good when you've done it. And a little tip if you do wash your make makeup brushes is I use baby shampoo. I've got this, which I got from Primark, which is really good for like scrubbing the brushes. Always lay them flat to dry. It means that the hairs don't fall out um, and they dry better. So yeah, that's that sorted. A little bag of goodies down there to give to my mum with some bits and bobs in that was in date and I think she might like and then she can give them to friends and family as well. And then this is my new lamp. Look at this. So I got this from Dunelm. Guess how much it was guys? Eight pound. <laughs> I've been looking for a lamp to go on this little side table for a while now because when it gets dark in here in winter I don't really like having a big light on I like having a really relaxing cozy little side light and this was eight pound it's really good quality for that it's kind of got like a linen shade and then it's cream they come in yellow and gray as well I got it from Dunelm I'll leave it linked down below and um, but yeah I just thought it was such a bargain good morning guys I'm actually filming this on my phone so I hope that the quality hasn't dipped down too much from my camera but um I'm just downstairs and realized that I'm gonna vlog and I didn't have my um look at my hair need to curl it um I realized I didn't have my camera down here so I thought I'd just vlog anyway um so today I'm off out into town with my mum I haven't spent the day with my mum in so long I didn't sleep very well last night because I was so excited excited um so that's what I'm doing today I thought I'd take you with me and um show you some bits that I find in the shops I probably won't do much talking but I thought I'd show you some new in bits and especially like Primark and places like that because you can't shop online and um, so I thought I would just show you a few bits that I find here and there along the way and um, yeah I'm super excited it's sunny day and I'm feeling good so come with me into town today with my mama <laughs> love it come on give me something I know that you want it come on give me something the night is young and so are we so maybe you should leave with me the night is young and so are Um, I'm looking a bit dishevelled, dishevelled, dishevelled today. Um, I just, my hair, I just, the next day after washing my hair, because I sleep with it up, I can't ever wear it down again because it just gets my nerves, so I have to wear it up and it just looks so flat and lifeless, so just ignore that. I'm having some <laughs> bad hair days at the moment. Um, the builders just nipped out for lunch, I think. Yeah, look at the state of this room. Oh. So I thought I'd quickly show you the ensuite. 
But look at this. <gasps> it looks so, so good, guys. I'm so happy with it. Obviously, there's a lot of smeary at the moment because it's just been grouted. Look at this. <gasps> anyway, it actually looks a lot cooler on the camera than it does in real life. They're actually warm tiles. They're kind of like a beigey, kind of creamy beigey colour. Um, which I really love, but the light in there at the moment on the camera comes out grey, but they're not grey. But anyway, thought I'd show you what I picked up when I was shopping yesterday, quickly before I end the rest of this vlog. Um, I'm not going to try it all on, because a lot of it's just like cosy clothes. So from Primark, first up we have this top, which I actually think is such good quality, like it doesn't look like Primark to me. Primark is so good at the moment anyway. It was £15, so a little bit more for Primark, but what I liked about it is... It's quite long, so you could wear it with leggings, but you could also tuck it into jeans as well. Loved how this looked on. It looked really, really lovely. They also had it in lilac, which I thought was nice. It's got nice brown neutral buttons as well, which I think are really cute. So I really love this. I fell in love with that. I also went into like a little boutique that's local to my town. Um, I can't remember what they're called now. I'll leave them linked below if I can find them online. I'm not sure if you can shop online. I have to ask my mum because she's the one that made us go in there. I never think to go in there, but um, my mum was like, let's go in that shop. And I was like, oh, thank God we did. I got these shirts. Now, I'm not usually a shirt person, but these are like a really beautiful, like, waffle kind of material texture. And they are so soft. And I thought I could get so much wear out of these because I love how oversized shirts look anyway. I was thinking with leggings, with jeans, and then if I go on holiday ever again in my lifetime... These will look nice over a bikini. So I got one in white and one in black as well. And obviously I shoot weddings with Chris as well. If you didn't know, we're wedding photographers. Um, so these are really good for that as well because for wedding photography, I like to be comfortable. I like to be in something oversized, especially in summer because it gets so hot. Um, so I really think the black one would be really good for that. And I love how they look open. I love how they look with like a little vest top underneath, tucked in. There's so many ways to wear these. Um, they were £40 each, so a little bit more on the pricier side, but for, the, for a boutique kind of shop, that's kind of what you get. And then I just got some cosy stuff. So I got some socks from Primark, because obviously Primark is the place for socks. So I got these sports socks, which are a really nice kind of length sock for when you wear um, Ugg boots, like mini Uggs. Um, if you've seen the trend anywhere at the moment, all the girls on Instagram wear the mini Uggs with like a little sock poking out. And... For me, I only have a few pairs of socks that are actually the right length to do that. So I got some black. And then I also got like this cream pack as well because I have some tan Uggs and I really like the cream socks. And this kind of colour is really nice. So I got those and those were £3.50. They're sport socks and they have like cushioning in them as well. So hopefully they'll be really comfortable. I also got these cosy socks. Now these are really fluffy, but they're also like a little ankle sock, which I really liked. When we were doing IVF, I read loads and loads of places that you're meant to keep your feet really warm, especially like after embryo transfer and all that stuff. And I really got into wearing like really comfy socks around the house. And then whenever they're in the wash, I really, really miss them. So I got them in black. I have them in grey, but I wanted black ones because I love black. <laughs> I love wearing black, as you guys are going to be able to tell. Then I got some joggers. You can't really see these. These were £8.99 from H&M. And I love them. I tried them on. They look really nice. And what I like about them is they're quite thin. So they haven't got that fluffy, like, um, what's this kind of material? Like a fluffy texture inside. I've got some that I love. Um, but it takes about 20 washes for the fluff to stop pouring out of my ankles whenever I wear them. So I really like them. And I think they're a bit of a bargain for £8.99. And then the last thing that I picked up was from Primark. So this was, so I got these, which are, again, some comfy joggers. There we go. And then at the bottom, they've got like this little cuff detailing, which I really liked. And these are kind of like a bit of a different material. I don't know if you can see. Oh, they're kind of like a knitted material, I guess. But again, they don't have that fluffy inside, which I really like. And this colour was a little bit strange for me. But actually, when I tried this on, I actually really liked it. I think actually cream joggers are really nice. And I've got a lot of cream kind of shoes and cream trainers. I've got my cream sketches. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen those. So I think those would look really nice, especially like as we go into spring. I've also got these, which to be honest are quite horrendous. <laughs> these shorts. Now I didn't try these on, which I might have regretted. But in summer, I really, really struggle to find shorts that are like long, but I could like nip out in. 
because I don't want short shorts. I'm 34 almost. I don't want short shorts. I don't want to show my bum cheeks off. So, I mean, there's no chance of that wearing these. Um, so they're basically the joggers, but a short version. And I thought those would be really good when it warms up. And um, I'm always, every year, looking for that perfect pair of shorts. And they were them. So I thought, well, i pick them up whilst I see them. So, yeah. Lots of new socks to try on. Was that it? I think that was it, to be honest. Everything I bought clothes-wise. Um, as you can see, my office is an absolute tip at the moment. I can't wait to have the house back to how it should be. And we had some delays with the ensuite, and now we've got to move a light because unfortunately, the light in the shower is kind of blocked by the shower head. Um, it's a bit of an oversight on everyone's part, to be honest. So that's got to be moved next week. But hopefully, fingers crossed, next week is the week that it will be all installed and finished. But I'm so happy with the tiles and how it looks. And the transformation in that room is amazing and of course I will do like a transformation probably over on my Instagram like a little transformation reel because it was so bad before um, and I'm so glad that we're going to have a nice ensuite that's all our own mess because there's something about moving into a house and using the ensuite that's mouldy and a bit gross and just we've had that ensuite for like five years and it's never been how we want it so yeah, I'm really excited for that so hopefully in the next vlog you'll be able to see the finished result of the ensuite and um, yeah, let me know if you want any styling videos of like joggers as well, because I really love wearing joggers and I love being comfortable. So if you guys want to see how I'm going to style those cream joggers, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could do some reels on Instagram and then I could put them on here. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if my energy has been a bit low in this vlog, to be honest, getting back into the routine of vlogging and just the routine of life at the moment. Like, I feel like since everything happened in the world there's just so much going on still and I feel like I'm just not quite back to myself or back to normal after basically hibernating for two years and I don't know if anyone else feels like that I just feel like I've lost my mojo a little bit with like going out and doing stuff and when I watch my old vlogs I can't believe so much that I used to do so much in a day and go out and do stuff and go and work in the coffee shop like I'm just even nervous to work in the coffee shop it's it's just crazy at the moment so yeah, I hope my energy wasn't too low. I'm really trying my best to be upbeat and be myself for you guys. And um, yeah, just stick with me. The vlogs will get more exciting, I'm sure, over time as I start to be released into the wide world. Um, just had a lot going on in my life. Um, but yeah, I know you guys will understand. So thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And if you are, hit the like button. Leave me a lovely comment below so I can reply. And I'll see you again next time for another video. Bye guys.